Gisom Wike declared serious war on beggars in Abuja. It is very obvious and unfortunate pathetic that beggars have taken over almost major cities in Nigeria. Talking about Onishatan, talking about Asaba, talking about Lagos, and even Abuja. So let's see how it goes, whether this can work. With this action, Yusuf Wiki has taken to hear the details of the report. In a bold move, Federal Capital Territory, FCT Minister Yusuf Wiki recently declared war on beggars. In Abuja, a decision that was Fact, a miss of reaction across Nigeria. Yusuf Wiki speaking at the inauguration of an access road in the Katampe district stresses that the rising number of beggars in the city is damaging the capital image, describing Abuja as returning to Beggar's city. And so, this and Wiki urged resident with family members begging on the street to intervene as a crackdown on begging would commence in the coming weeks. It is embarrassing that people who come into Abuja, the first thing they see are just beggars on the road. Yusuf Wiki said, insisting that beggars should return to their home state, Federal Capital Territory, FCT, cannot be the center of beggars. It is the only city Nigeria have to showcase to the world. The move follows previous efforts by the Federal Capital Territory, FCT administration to remove beggars and homeless individuals from the capital city, including a 2023 campaign that saw 217 individuals sent back to their home states. However, this latest order has drawn criticism from rights group and community leaders. The African Action Congress, FCT chapter condemned the directives urging that it shows the government a disconnect from the harsh realities facing Nigerians. The chairman of the group African Action Congress, Agena Robert, Andy urged the government to consider the difficulties driving people to beg rather than stigmatizing them. Social Economic Rights Accountability Project, SERAF, also voice concerns threatening legal action if he, if Yusuf Wiki does not reverse his decision. No one should be criminalized for engaging in life-sustaining 
economic activities. Seraph stated, urging the minister to help beggars reintegrate into society with dignity. As a result of these reactions, some beggars express anxiety over the ultimatum. Abdallah Nuru, a blind beggar, shared his fears. What have we done? He asked a pathetic question. This situation we find ourselves is in is not something we want, and that it is so unfortunate that they find themselves in this situation of begging, and that is not the kind of life they wish for themselves. He pleaded for support instead of arrest. Adding that, many beggars have skills they could put to use if empowered by the government. Another beggar planning to return to Kirby State said, many of them are very much willing to work, but there is no opportunity, no work for them to do. There is no employment. That is the reason they have no choice that to take to begging. As Abuja brace for the forthcoming crackdown, many are calling on the government to offer sustainable alternatives to begging. Instead of enforcing removal policies that has critics argues may only worsen the plight of the vulnerable. So guys, what do you have to say on this matter. Where Jason Wiki has given weeks ultimatum for all beggars to quit from the Federal Capital Territory or face the situation of arrest or they will be arrested. Kindly share your comment on this and do not forget to like and subscribe to Bliss Channel. Thank you.